knows that once you go NWO, you go NWO for life, brah. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hey guys, this is Chase. I'm that guy with the gloves. This is Storm Collectibles, Ringside Collectibles exclusive, Hollywood Hogan. Now, we were all looking forward to the Defining Moments Hulk Hogan from Mattel, but obviously some stuff happened, so now we're probably never going to see that figure ever, aside from some very cool customs that you've seen online. Well, seeing as how Hulk Hogan's an independent agent, and he does kind of own the trademark to the Hollywood Hogan stuff, I guess, um, he was able to pair up with Storm Collectibles, and they did make some one six scale figures, so like the Hot Toy size for him, which are pretty damn cool. All of his accessories, you can see, they look great. Love the packaging with Hogan doing his uh, his pose right there. He's got Hogan on the side and on the back. It shows everything that he comes with. Also, it has a little autograph by Hulk Hogan right there. It's not an actual autograph. It's just something that they, like, you know, added to the packaging. But again, very cool. I love the white splatter effect on there for, like, the NWO spray paint. Very awesome. So inside the packaging, it has this uh, spray paint graffiti art style thing that can come out and you can use it as a display piece. I think that's really awesome. Storm does that with their Mortal Kombat and their Street Fighter figures, so I'm glad to see they're continuing this tradition with the Hollywood Hogan figure. Hogan comes with a basic black stand here, except it has his name on there in the Hollywood sign style. And then it's got Hogan right underneath. Very cool accessory. And here is our Storm Collectibles Hollywood Hogan. This is an easy candidate for figure of the year. I do have some major complaints about the figure, but there is so much I love about it. Let's jump into it. Let's get into everything. Let's talk about this face sculpt and the scan or whatever you want to call it. I love it. It absolutely looks like Hulk Hogan. All the accessories just look great on it. The headband with the Hollywood font looks great. I love the folding and everything and everything just looks right. Comes off easy enough, and it's made of the soft material. His sunglasses can look a little wonky on his head, but it just takes a little bit of posing, and you'll get it right. They look great. It looks exactly like a pair of, like, I don't know, Oakleys or Ray-Bans or whatever Hogan was wearing. You can see all the little details in it, too. Oh, my God, Storm, you guys did such a great job on the sunglasses. And they snap on. Again, they're flexible, so they could fit on just about every other figure. And, man... I look at this, I see Hulk Hogan. This looks so awesome. It would have been cool if we would have had like like two or three alternate head scans, like one with uh, Hogan with his like smirking expression, this one, and then one where like Hogan's got that shocked look on his face every time he would see Sting or Roddy Piper or the Ultimate Warrior or something like that. That would have been kind of kind of funny and kind of cool. But man, the eyes look great. You can see the the wrinkles Hogan was starting to develop back then. The black in the beard is very subtle, but it's there. The Fu Manchu mustache looks great. Hogan's uh, hair curtain looks awesome. His bald head, oh my god, that just, there's so much, there's like just so much detail in there. It looks like actual flesh. It's incredible. Uh, they got the hot dog tone skin on Hogan uh, near perfect. I think it could be a little bit redder, but I love it. I think it looks better than, than what Mattel has done. But again, this is two different companies making two different style of figures. His uh, crucifix looks pretty good. It comes off kind of the same as a Mattel figure. You got to like get it around the hair, but it's made of that soft material, that soft rubber, and it just comes off easy enough. Looks great. Again, this could just easily come with a Mattel figure. It's just, it seems a little bit higher quality, too. Fabric t-shirt. You guys nailed it. First try. Good job. It does fold up a little bit here at the bottom, but again, it's it's real fabric. That just happens with something this small. Uh, the decal that's on here with the Hollywood rules on there, the blue flames in the background, and like the NWO. Well, now, see, here's the thing. They didn't have rights to... The NWO, Storm didn't have rights to use them. I don't think Ringside has them either. So it says HWO on his arm for obviously like Hollywood World Order or Hulk or Hogan World Order. I don't remember if this t-shirt had that on there. I'll look it up if I can find it. But man, that just looks so killer. I love the detail that they put on the back where he's got the rips on here. Ah, oh, so freaking cool. I love it. Shirt just comes off over his head. 
and we have the rest of the figure. And this is one of the first wrestling figures in the 112 scale, 110 scale, whatever, that has nipples. <laughs> None of the Mattel figures have nipples. It's so ridiculous. I mean, I, I get it if people are going to make fun of it or whatever, but, you know, it's a real part of the anatomy. It should be on the body, but I just think that looks... I, I just, I like the detail on here. Uh, the muscles all look great. Uh, it just has that bulkiness to where Hulk, you know, how Hulk used to look. His arms are gigantic. Uh, the gloves with, like, the white, like, cotton-style wristbands look really great. The biker gloves with the all the, like, padding and leather in it. That looks really, really good. Very well done by Storm Collectibles. Now, this is where I'm going to start to complain. I love the way the belt looks. His weightlifter's belt is awesome. It's got Hollywood Hogan written on it. Very cool. However, this soft, like... The soft crotch piece, this is this bugs me because it kind of messes with how the belt looks and it's not attached to anywhere on the figure. So this moves freely. That's not good because it it looks like his like his his jocks are falling off and it just it doesn't look good. Now, again, this is something I'm gonna majorly complain about. The belt is impossible to get back on. I've taken it off once before, and I'm gonna show you how I got it back on the figure but it's not going to look pretty. So the belt, again, I love the molding on here. The buckle looks great. Lo the loop looks good. Comes off easy enough, and you can, you know, whip your opponents with it as Hogan used to. The belt is just so soft. These, like, little nub pieces in there are impossible to get back into the hole. It's ridiculous. Now, again, this is a complaint. When he doesn't have the belt on, this crotch piece moves all over the place and it just looks really weird. Like you could see a disconnection between the figure, almost like his torso is floating. That's really, that's really bad. I think the torso piece in here, this like peg that's sticking in there, it's a, it's kind of hard to see. Um, yeah, I don't know how to help you guys see that, but it's too tall. This torso piece, there it is. It's too tall. It needs to sit a little bit shorter. So if you guys plan on making any more wrestling figures, make it so that this piece connects somewhere and also make this uh, peg inside of there a little bit smaller. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if this crotch piece was like glued onto Hogan or if it's like the black rubber material rubbing off on Hogan's skin, but he's got black splotches all over his lower tor torso. That is not good, guys. Damn, that really sucks. For a figure that costs over thirty dollars, I'm expecting a little bit more. Uh, that just really sucks. And I, okay, like the molding on the crotch piece looks right. I mean, the the folds and everything like that. It looks like he's wearing tights and whatnot. But and I like that it's I like that it is soft because you can get better articulation out of it versus harder plastic. But it just doesn't look good when it's floating and moving around. That it needs something to connect to. So, hey, the legs look good. His muscles, you can clearly see through the tights. I think that's awesome. He's got lightning on one side and then more lightning on this side with Hollywood looking awesome. His knee pads look good. It's got the cuts in the back. It's got the white trim. Awesome. You got Hogan's face right there and the sunglasses and the bandana, the blue flames. That is killer. These boots are perfect. Now, the accessory I don't like that Hogan comes with are the feather boas. It's nice that Storm Collectibles included included these. I consider them optional. I kind of preferred Hollywood Hogan without them, so that's just my preference. But yeah, they're just a little too, little too much. Too much feather going on, and they're a little too big, and they kind of distract from the figure. They're, they're not posable either, so they're going to stay in this like position, which is good because that's how Hogan wore them. But again, you just got so many feathers going on and they get everywhere. I mean, look at this, they're all over the place. It's ridiculous. Now the articulation on the Storm Collectibles Hollywood Hogan is very awesome. It's like an import figure with the amount of uh, movable pieces. So you can look left and right. You can look up and down a little bit. His head does pop off just like that. I wonder if this could fit on a Mattel figure. Someone's probably done that by now. The torso pieces are soft, so moving them around, very easy. It, his um, upper diaphragm can go 360. He does have also waist articulation, so that's something Mattel doesn't have. Uh, he does have a bit of an ab crunch 
I think it goes about the same amount as the Mattel figures. He's got the butterfly joints in his uh, arm sockets there, so it's like a Marvel Legends like Spider-Man figure, just to compare it. It's a soft piece. It's two different pieces, too. So he's got a peg sticking out of this shoulder joint going into his torso, and then he has this separate piece. And this can all come apart, as you can see right there. And if it comes apart, you just pop it back into its socket. Very easy. The shoulder can go 360, because of the butterfly joint, you get much greater range of motion. Awesome. Upper bicep rotation in the arm and the shoulder just goes every direction you want it to. He's got a double bend in the elbow. And I love the way these look. I know some people have complained about them, but I love them. I do not mind seeing like these little pieces in there. Never bugs me. I think they look great. Rotates at the wrist, so you're going to rotate it at the glove, not at the fabric piece. So the legs, thanks to the soft uh, piece, they can go out that far, so you can hit those atomic leg drops and go to the... Hogan can do a full split. I'm not certain if that's something Hogan could ever do, but hey, there it is. He's got an upper waist um, kind, of a, kind of a rotation. I'm not too certain what you would call that. There's like a ball peg or something in there, but it's not like a standard Mattel Elite. He does have the double bend in the knee. I do believe he has rotation in the boot. I just, I, I don't know if it's so stiff it's not moving, but I'm going to say there is no rotation in the boot for now because I'm not feeling it. I don't, I, I, I'm not feeling that going and I don't want to break the figure. If there is rotation, yeah, I don't think there is. I don't know, guys. If there is rotation in the boot, I will add it in an annotation. His feet can go left and right. Ah, that little tiny peg keeps popping out. Then go... Oh, come on, Hogan. Your wrestler's foot is not that bad. His foot can go forward that far and backwards that far. The, they do pop out very easily, but again, they pop back in. So one bit of articulation I did not notice the first time was that the tips of his boots can point. That's really awesome. I I knew I know that the Storm Collectibles and Bison had that. I did not know that Hogan had it. So yeah, freaking awesome. Just take them and there you go. And for those wondering, Hogan is in scale with the Mattel figures. I'd say he's a little bit shorter than what he should be compared to Sting, but I think it looks great for what it is. And so if you have any complaints or any worry about him not being in scale with the Mattel figures, I would put those to bed because he fits in perfectly. And here we have Storm Collectibles Hollywood Hogan compared to my custom Hollywood Hulk Hogan using the Jack scan and the Defining Moments Hulk Hogan. So pretty much pick your poison as to which one you like the best, but I still got to say Storm Collectibles is by far the best in terms of likeness and accessories and everything like that. So Hollywood Hogan comes with a number of different hands. He has two closed fists for punching. And here we can see Hogan has a set of open hands, and he can hold pretty much any of the Mattel, Mattel accessories. He's got the microphone and the NW spray paint can. Uh, thank you, Hopeless Emotion, on Instagram for the spray paint can. And, yeah, it's friggin' awesome. It would be kind of cool if, um, let's say if they make a version 2 of Hollywood Hogan, they should include a set of hands or a set of right or left hands where he's doing the four life thing. That'd be freaking awesome. Okay, so as best as I can, I'm going to try to show you guys how I got the belt back on. Now, starting off with this, uh, starting off with the, the notch on the inside, take that, make sure it feeds through the hole, and then take your second one, see, and then the first one pops out. So it's like you want to do that and you want to slowly like move them together while popping the holes back in place. See, damn it. I knew this was going to be impossible to do again. And the nice, well, the good thing is that the belt is made out of such stretchy material. It's a little, it's a lot, it's easy to do once you do it multiple times, but got such a pain in the ass. You have no idea. Come on, Hogan. There we... Ah, almost had it. Almost had it. Son of a bitch. Alright, got the first notch in. And then... Yeah, 
It's going gonna, it's gonna to be impossible, guys. Sorry. But that's how I did it is just... I did a system where I get the I get the belt on him. I just stretch it out as much as I can. Do this inner notch first, and then the second one second, obviously. And seeing as how, unfortunately, Storm Collectibles and Ringside could not include the World Heavyweight Championship, if you don't have the one that came with the Elite 16 Kevin Nash or the Ringside Kevin Nash, my suggestion: take a standard World Heavyweight title paint on the NWO logo and I made mine a little bit differently than what Matilda did. I based it off of this photo so there you go. Anyway guys my overall impressions on Storm Collectibles Hollywood Hogan ringside collectibles exclusive. It's an amazing figure. It's a figure of the year contender. The, the gripes that I had with it are are pretty big but for Storm Collectibles first wrestling figure and giving us Hollywood Hogan, a figure that Mattel could not give us after showing it off at Comic-Con years ago. I think they dropped the atomic leg on this one, brother. Storm put some amazing work into this figure. I'm hoping to see some improvements on their next wrestling figure if they ever do make one. Storm Collectibles for life. This was Chase from Burnout Inc. I'm that guy with the gloves. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that stuff if you want to. But yeah, truly, this is the defining Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I'll see you next time, brothers. Now we all know that the de nah. ah. Now we all know we three, two, one. All so packaging wise, let's get into this thing. Very freaking cool. Hogan looks great in there. All of except all of his uh, three, two, one. All of his accessories you can clearly see. Love the packaging.